happened? Yo, what's up, Duff here? We're going for a ride. I got, I got, I got stuff going on, man. I got, I got stuff to talk about. And you know, I, I, I talk best about things when I'm riding a wheel. So I guess I should ride my wheel. Got my veteran patent here. Uh, happy Sunday. First things first. Um, obviously, you're going to notice if you've ever seen any more of my videos before that I'm wearing a different helmet. This is an LS2 helmet. It's the LS2 Valiant 2. And this is a helmet that was uh, turned on, that I got turned on to by Tommy, also known as EUC Vibes, when he did his helmet review, which I plan to do a helmet review as well. This will be, I don't know, this might be part of it, potentially. Uh, this helmet is cool for a number of reasons. Has the flip down sunscreen like my Scorpion XO does, has a pull down windscreen when needed. Comes in, in, in uh, an incredible case and bag, which I will be showing on the review. Comes with a pin lock, um, windscreen protector, or I don't know, it's supposed to make it uh, that your windscreen can't fog up on you. That's what it's used for. Have not installed that. I don't, I, I don't know that I need it. I very rarely ride with the windscreen down. Oh, well, I do not have a mirror on this yet. I didn't think about that. No mirror. So I, perhaps I'm, ah, uh, shit, you know what? I don't think we can really add one the way this is designed because this, um, well maybe, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about a mirror option. But this um, has the retractable chin bar. And you may remember my Scorpion Exo. That's the whole reason I bought that thing because the chin bar locks out of place. But on the Exo, the chin bar locks up here in the top of your head and you look like a, this is a cone head, basically, when you have it in the up position. And it also catches wind like a sail. If you're going at high speeds and you have the chin bar up, it's annoying as shit. It really is. But with this, with this helmet, when you pull the chin bar away, it locks in the back of the helmet. You can't even tell, right? It looks great. It's out of the way. Totally free to uh, drink coffee, which you may see me doing later. And then when you're done, you just... Bam. Super, super easy. So I'm a big fan of this helmet, and it's much lighter than the XO as well. As you know, the thing that was a pain in the ass with the XO is it um, quite heavy. So this helmet is not nearly as heavy. I will be doing a weight comparison between this helmet and the XO. Oh man, there's that patent uh, overcharge warning. I actually took my, after, after I charged this last time, I took it out and ran like, I ran like, um, like four miles or something like that. I did four miles around the neighborhood just to drain battery so I wouldn't get that annoying noise. I still got it. I'm not a fan of that at all. Yeah, I really am used to having a rear view mirror, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little inconvenient for me for now until I uh, come up with some sort of workaround for that situation. I'm very good at um, jerry-rigging things just like uh, Dawn is, so I'll figure something out. What should talk about? I don't know if I can remember everything. Um, so my patent by now, my patent was actually supposed to have upgraded pedals. I got some uh, prototype pedals from uh, Chris Clark to put in the patent, but unfortunately there's a couple details that have to get fixed uh, before they will work correctly. So I uh, had to revert back to the stock pedals. But what I did do is I uh, hopped on the E-Rides uh, e site and I bought their set which is the same pedals that I have on my uh, veteran Sherman, Sherman S, which I'm very happy with. So I have a set of those coming. So, and I will paint the accents orange on those, just like I did with the Sherman S to match my color scheme. So yeah, those are coming. So I'm, I'm planning on doing my kind of a normal uh, Hudson around Naples ride. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go all the way to the beach. I'm gonna go through the Greenway, I'm going to Probably stop the cabana, maybe grab a couple beers there. And yeah, we'll, we'll see, I, I don't know. I haven't really mapped it out solidly what I'm gonna be doing yet. I am uh, making it up as I go. I do that a lot. A lot of my other helmets I have like covered with all kinds of various stickers that I have that I get from vendors or dealers or whatever. And uh, with this one I've decided, get out of there man, you're gonna, you're gonna mess me up with uh, your music. Um, with this one I'm just gonna have the UC Army sticker on it, that's enough. 
going to keep this one more low key. I'm going to get off the road here and get on the sidewalk in a second. So I have not done a conventional riding video since uh, Dawn was here. The last conventional riding video I did was the, uh, the Swamp Ride, believe it or not. So it's two weeks ago, something like that. Um, but in that time period, I have done seven hours of live streams. Yes, I'm not shitting you. Seven freaking hours of live streams. I know, it's crazy, right? I did two three and a half hour live streams. One on the computer and then another one, another one on my phone where I was uh, drinking uh, the plum wine that I bought for Dawn's visit. I had uh, plum wine left over, so I, uh, I drank uh, a lot of it on that one. But yeah, they were both like three and a half hour long live streams. Let's go off road here. Wham! Ooh, a little sandy there. Yeah, super, super long live streams. Um, I think they're both interesting for different reasons. On that second live stream, I actually had some of the New York City guys uh, drop in, including uh, Mickey, who has not been in one of my live streams in, Jesus, I don't know, a couple years, forever. And uh, also Turbo. Turbo, a pretty well-known uh, UC rider up in New York City as well. They were in the uh, second stream as well. The first stream, I had uh, a lot of the California crew there. Dawn was in there, uh, Marty, Roger. So yeah, check it out. Check out the live section of my channel if you want to check them out. Man, so many things. Okay, so uh, when Dawn was here on her visit, she, um, I have a V10F, some of you might not know that. I have a V10F that I never ride, really. I bought that to teach people, basically, is why I bought the V10F. But um, when Dawn was here, she took the V10F, V10F out solo a number of times just to kind of explore on her own. And uh, when she was done with it, the thing was almost out of battery. So it needed to be charged. And I, uh, after she left, I went to look for my charger, pulled out what I thought was the correct charger, and I actually had the charger for the V5F that uh, Cindy and, and Katie used to have at that wheel. The charger for the V5F does not work on the V10F. Evidently, when I moved, I think I inadvertently threw out the charger for the V10F, so I don't have a charger. So I had to go on eBay and buy a charger for the V10F will tie into another story shortly, so I do not currently have a way to charge the V10F. Um, that ties into a interesting um, potential uh, barter trade that I'm um, considering with a, a guy. There's a guy on, uh, I saw on Facebook that has a Emotion V13. An Emotion V13 uh, with, uh, I think he said like 300 miles. Looks like it's in good shape. pissed off that he asked her to take a step in. Um, yeah, V13. And he was looking to, to do a barter deal, which was interesting. He said he specifically he wanted an S22 and, and a like a starter wheel for his, his son, I believe. And like and he listed a couple like like uh, low-end wheels that, that he would be interested in, and one of them was a V10F. And I just responded to him and said, hey. I have I have both of those wheels. That's interesting. What I've been considering doing is buying an ET Max. Um, I'm supposed to be getting the demo ET Max that's up in New York City right now. I'll be getting that to demo. And if I like it, after demoing it, there's a good chance that I'm going to buy an ET Max. And I was, um, one of the things that I considered doing with that purchase is selling the King Song S22. It doesn't get ridden much. And I, I was going to sell that to... Uh, help offset the expenditure somewhat. But then this, this uh, potential swap was offered to me, and, and I'm thinking about that as well. I mean, I, I had the Demo V13. It's a nice cruising wheel, doesn't get fantastic range, but it's fast, good for flat open services like we have here in Florida. So I'm considering doing that trade. So that is, uh, and I have done a barter deal before. One time I traded my Kingsong, or I'm sorry, I traded my Nikola Plus for a Kingsong 16X to a guy in Colorado, and that worked out okay, so I don't know. I might do it, I might not, I'm not quite sure. Still kind of mulling it over, but that's uh, that's another possibility. Along, and I would still buy an ET Max, even if I did that, so yeah, crazy, right? So yeah, I did that. Um, I'm spending so much money, guys. I bought this helmet, I bought a new um, SSD for my computer, and today um, I also bought a V8S, you know. Talk about that more later. And I might ask why. I, I asked myself the same thing. Here's the terrace that has all those steps. 
Um, I need to add some air to the patent tire. It's a little low to do steps, I think. Uh, bend the rim. Felt a little squishy to me uh, before I went for the ride, so. But I will, I will be doing these steps again. Let's see, does that cover everything I bought? I'm not quite sure. Not so much shit. Um, I'm go down in this little character. Um, I think so. I think so. Oh, and I didn't actually say the reason that I've I've been on a buying spree is because I found out that my tax liability, uh, which I thought potentially could be really severe this year, actually is not. It turns out that I'm going to be okay tax-wise, so I, I was worried about like having a five-figure tax bill, and instead um, it's going to be reasonable. I'm actually going to get some money back, so that is what has um, inspired my rash of spending. But I need to control myself. If I had a significant other, they'd probably be giving me shit right about now. Okay, let's, let's talk about some more interesting things. Uh, this week, on Tuesday, I had a, a procedure called vein ablation. Uh, some of you may or may not have noticed, depending on how observant you are, that I, I have some effed up veins in my right leg. Varicose, all big and large, and you know, they're like kind of painful at times, and tingly. And I, I decided to finally do something about it. I had a... Uh, and it's a multi-step process, but I had uh, vein ablation done on Tuesday, which uh, when I describe this, it doesn't sound very um, fun, but basically you are, uh, you're, you're awake and they give you a local, a local anesthetic and they basically poke a hole into your leg. They stick a catheter in there and on the end of this catheter is a device that uh, an RF device that generates high amounts of heat. So they have this catheter inside your vein. That heat is hot enough. I think they said it's like 400 degrees or something. It's crazy hot. It basically um, closes the vein from the inside out because you don't need all the veins in your legs, believe it or not. It's kind of weird. Um, but it closes the vein from the inside out. I had it done on, on two different veins in my leg. Uh, it took about an hour. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't painful. It just is just kind of maybe uncomfortable at times is the way I would describe it but I had that done and uh, it was okay like I had to have a compression stocking on for two days and try to keep it dry but it was it was okay it felt a little bit weird but it was okay so um, I got I took the stocking off on Thursday morning and uh, doing fine Friday came I went and I played uh, pickleball during the day I went to the gym on Thursday played pickleball on Friday felt okay Friday after work, I was walking out, out the parking lot, and I was feeling uh, like a stabbing pain on the left side of my chest. And, uh, those of you with a medical degree know that the left side of your chest is where your heart is, right? And it was significant. It, it hurt. I mean, I, I couldn't breathe deeply. Um, and it was just, it was just, even when I wasn't doing anything, if I moved the wrong way, it was just very sharp. Uh, concerning pain and I am the type of person that I hate doctors I hate going to hospitals but the fact that this procedure I had done on Tuesday they said that a potential um, side effect it's a very small chance but a potential side effect is blood clots so I did not want to um, F around I didn't know if this was something potentially uh, blood clot related so I drug myself to the ER and it, it it was bad. I mean, it, it was hurting, really hurting. Um, but I didn't have like radiating pain down my arm or in my back, which, which sometimes uh, they will have. So uh, I go to the ER and they run an EKG. They do a chest x-ray. They do some blood work. Uh, and, they, and they also did a CT with contrast. Uh, when I told them that I had the, the, the ablation procedure, and potential for blood clots, they did that as well because that checks your arteries and stuff. And um, it all came back uh, negative. Uh, th th there was no signs of, of heart trauma or you know uh, blood clots, so that was all good. That was all good. Uh, but I still had the pain. Um, it was it was lesser. It was lesser pain. And then I woke up on Saturday morning. And, you know, I didn't sleep well. If I if I turned the wrong way, I, I was woken up with this pain in my chest. Oh, wow, got something going on here, an archo, cool. So yeah, I was still having issues. 
did not feel good. But I got up on Saturday. I'm like, ah, F it. I'm going to go play pickleball and just see what happens. And it didn't feel good at first. did not feel good. Uh, but as I um, played a little bit and got warmed up and got a little bit sweaty, it actually started to relax a little bit. Uh, not hurt as bad. And, um, yeah, since then, it's, it's better. I mean, it's better. Obviously, I'm riding in UC. It's better. If I breathe deeply, I can still feel it. But it makes me think that somehow it's like a weird muscular thing. You know, I was looking up the symptoms. You know, they said it could be an intercostal thing, which is like the tissue between your, your ribs. I don't know. I don't remember doing anything that would have done that. Um, but um, that's what I'm writing it off to, that it's, it's some sort of muscular thing that just happens to be right under my heart, which is uh, less than ideal, worrisome. Uh, but I think I'm going to survive. So, yeah, that, that was part of my week as well. So much stuff, right? Where am I? I'm up in a parking lot. Okay. Well, let's see. I, can, I want to see if I can get through to the Gabbana bar. I was just kind of wandering because I was uh, talking to you guys. Man, this thing has some torque. I just, I just did a little bunny hop over one of the speed bumps, man. It, 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 it chirped the tire when I, when I hit the ground. I think it has massive torque. Oh, oh, that's right. People are celebrating St. Patty's Day today, aren't they? I thought it was the 15th. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> just left the cabana after drinking uh, uh, three beers and talking to some people that are from Philly. Talked to them for a while. Paul and I forget his wife's name. Saw some um, some friends. I still classify them as friends of mine, but uh, they're friends of my ex as well. Got to see them. It was nice. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I ran into them. I've run into them a couple times actually. I, you know, I, I really I, I like them, and uh, it's, it's a shame that I can't really uh, hang out with them anymore. But, you know. That's what happens, right? That's what life's about. Adjusting to changes, that's what I'm doing. I'm adjusting to changes. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna roll down to the beach, just for the effort, just sit down there. Uh, as usual, I had a, a bunch of questions, you know, like what the, what the F is going on? What is that thing? How do you balance it? How fast does it go? What's the, you know, how far can you go? Yeah, typical questions. And I really miss my mirror, let me tell you. I really miss it. All right, I gotta, I gotta go around this Toyota and beat him. I'll probably piss him off, but that's all right. So yeah, did I tell you everything that I bought? I don't know, did I? Yeah, like I, I bought a V8S today. Now, I got it cheap. I mean, I got it on Amazon, a V8S. I got it for, uh, well, I had I had some Amazon Spiff dollars, so but it, it cost me like a little bit over $500 out of pocket, a V8S, brand new and um, it's delivered tomorrow. <laughs> Why did I buy it? Well, if I do the V13 trade, I'll lose my... Oh, fuck, really? Did you just crash? No, it's still there, okay. If I do the V13 trade, I'll lose my V10F, which was my wheel to train people, and it was my wheel that Dawn liked to wheel around on by herself, <laughs> so... <laughs> um, yeah, I bought a V8S for that reason. It makes no sense, you know, but... I mean, there's a number of things in my life that don't make any sense. I mean, just ask my friends. I mean, there's lots and lots of stuff like that. So, yeah, all right. So, like, we're just gonna circle. Oh, this is a oh, it's a four-way stop. Shit, I could have went. Damn it. All right. All right. Let me go. Go ahead. Go ahead. I thought it was a. I thought it was a crossing traffic does not stop kind of deal. So, yeah. Bought a V8S. I think I'm done buying stuff uh, for the short term. <laughs> Never know, um, but yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, there's something else I might spend money on, but I don't want to talk about that right now. Um, while I was sitting there drinking beer with uh, those people from Philly, talking Phillies, Eagles, all kinds of stuff, pickleball, of course, um, I was looking at my helmet. I think I might be able to mount the mirror like low here where it won't get in the way of the chin mechanism, I think. So that's probably gonna be my, my uh, tactic, that I'll mount the mirror low, so I have a rear view mirror, because, I don't know, it's just, I'm, I'm so used to having a rear view mirror, I have it basically on all my helmets, so I think I would like to have it on this one as well. Love this helmet, man, it's freaking great. 
think it was uh, 279 two something like that on Amazon. Um, Tommy got the black one. Uh, subscribe to EUC Vibes, by the way. Tommy got the black one, I got the white one. I don't think they had the black, actually. And white, white's a little better down here in Florida. You know, it kind of reflects the heat. It's kind of hot and shit, so... Yeah, very, very happy with this helmet. Okay, I'm sitting at my normal spot. At this, I think this is 8th Street, right? This is, you got people there taking scenic shots. This is a good spot. They actually have, like, a, this is a popular spot for weddings and shit. As you can see, it's, you know, it's nice. You, know, you got a space to put uh, chairs and stuff. So, yeah, a lot of people do their wedding ceremony here. Yeah, maybe I'll do my wedding ceremony here. I just, I just need to, I just need to have a wedding, I guess. But, yeah. Should I leave my helmet on? I don't know. I think, I mean, I had uh, three beers, but I, I'm thinking I want to stop. And what time is it? 4.30. I'm thinking I want to stop at Dunkin' Donuts to, oh, look, they're doing a selfie. There you go. Selfie, selfie time. Um, I want to stop and get Dunkin' Donuts just to give it the full chin bar test. But I can tell you that this thing is going to be awesome for uh, drinking coffee. It's going to be freaking awesome. So two, to get, two days ago, sitting in the ER to this. To this. I'm a, I'm a lucky man. I'm a lucky, lucky man. In many ways. Okay, I had a nice little 15 minute break there. At the beach. I stayed in the bench. This isn't exactly great gear for uh, uh, hanging out on the sand good it's always good it's always good uh, we got here for cars we got cars coming so we're gonna f around on the sidewalk until uh the cars have cleared i'm gonna roll into this multi-million dollar houses parking lot and hope they don't or driveway hope they didn't get pissed at me multi-million dollar home right here and here i am doing a yui on it all right i'm sure he's fine I'm sure he's friendly. I mean, how many times does he get to have an EUC uh, ride on his uh, driveway? Not much, right? All right, here we go. We're reversing. Dunkin' Donuts is going to be one of the stops on the way back. And uh, we'll see what else happens. In case you're wondering what it's like to uh, ride an electric unicycle on the streets of Old Naples, Come along with me. Uh, what are we doing? Mid 30. It's crazy. All these people wearing green, green out the ass, and here I am. My, my name is Duffy, and I, I don't have a single piece of green on me. Not even my underwear. Nothing is green. I'm such a, I'm such a bad Irish person. All right, we are reversing. We are um, going to go past the, the cabana that I had the beers at. We'll surely get a lot of uh, what the F are those looks, or what the F is that look. It's, it's very common. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Here we go. And Dunkin' Donuts, of course. Extreme! Extreme! Look at that. Oof. Marty says they don't jump big curbs. There you go, Marty. What do you think that is? That was at least... I don't know, six or seven inches, at least. Extreme! I like them apples. How you like them apples? So this is the area that, uh, one of the areas, the Dawn uh, hauled ass on my Sherman S. This is the, uh, the road that surrounds the uh, Naples airport. Now, I'm not gonna go as fast as Dawn went, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 40 miles an hour. Oh man, there's a truck in front of me slowing me down. Dude, you're, you're hurting my zoom zooms as Dawn would say. All right, zoom zoom. All right, here we go, try again. I did just touch 40, wheel speed. All right, here we go. Juan well, doesn't think I'm going to get that 52.2 that's on my Sherman S that sets the top speed on. I don't know, Don. Oh, oh, I just made the patent beat. Shit. 41.5. We're 
about, I don't know, six bars. Made the patent beef. What do you think about that? First step, now I'm making the patent beef. Crazy shit. Mm, I just don't got time for this. Extreme! I just don't got time for it. Right with those Miami guys, I mean, I don't know. I'm feeling more aggressive. <laughs> Is that a good or a bad thing? I don't, I don't know. Okay, yes, I am uh, I'm leaving a uh, self-service car wash. You wouldn't expect that, right? No, I didn't wash my patent. Um, I actually, I, as I was coming back this way, I actually passed Christine. I saw her in her car, and I turned around. And uh, I was just hanging out and talking to her while she was vacuuming her car. So, yeah. Christine and I are still friends. It's good to see her. I haven't seen her in a little while. But now it's one of Dunkin' Donuts. And I need to pee, so that'd All be right. good. All right, here we go. This is why this helmet is awesome. I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but this is one of the many reasons. Take it up, snaps in the back. <clears throat> it almost looks like it's part of the helmet. And you have totally unobstructed access to your Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Well worth it. Well worth it. Okay, let's go back to the house. This is so much better. The wind drag pulling my head back. <clears throat> Looks better. It's lighter. I severely doubt if my Scorpion XO will get worn much at all uh, from this point forward. Still good. Coffee's good too. Not just the helmet, but the coffee's outstanding.